Hey guys, this is Chemo Kit 1SS, and today I'm going to have a short uh, review and demonstration of the Cold Steel Super Edge. And you might be wondering where I'm carrying my Cold Steel Super Edge. It's on my shoe. And if you can't see it, I'll try to raise it up. It's pretty well hidden unless you know it's there. But uh, it carries really nicely in its sheath. It also carries well on a keychain on your carabiner, but I chose to carry it on my shoe. I've, I've probably carried one on my shoe uh, for over a year, but that was a few years back. But anyways, this is a really cool knife. It's very small and compact, and it can get a lot of work done. It, as you can see, it's fully serrated uh, with cold steel serrations, obviously. And to tell you the truth, they're not my favorite serrations, but they will get the job done. It's not something that uh, you know you use every day, but if you have a nasty job, some rope cutting, uh, the serrations actually do work well. And these serrations actually came shaving sharp from the factory, and I'll see if I can demonstrate that really quick. Take it here. Uh, and I'm not sure how the camera's picking that up, but for serrations, they are uh, shaving sharp. So that's a plus from Cold Steel. And I believe this is the 420 version. They also make an ALS 8 version. I'm not totally sure what kind of steel it's made out of because it's not labeled. But since it's not labeled, I'm just going to go ahead and say it's the 420. But uh, I'm, I could be wrong on that. But I'm just going to do a demonstration really quick. This is a uh, rubber soaker hose. It's not like the toughest material in the world, but uh, it's what I have to use as a demonstration. And we're going to see if we can sever a piece of this soaker hose with this very diminutive knife. That's a pretty good cut. There we go. And that's, that basically got it. So that's really good performance for such a small knife. And I'll go ahead and show you, uh, this is an older model right here. And I've used it for years. I abuse the serrations. I cut uh, all sorts of uh, hard material, like uh, abrasive cardboard, and also some really tough plaster. And it was just uh, really rough on the serrations. So the serrations are completely dull. They're not going to shave or anything. And uh, if I want this knife to become usable again, probably what I'll have to do is uh, make it a plain edge. But I just wanted to demonstrate, even though the serrations are dull, you can still get through parachute cord. So, obviously that was a very ugly cut, but you can see how, and my thumb's bleeding. Okay, that's probably from uh, having my thumb on the back of the blade since it's such a thin blade, but uh, I guess that's some information for you. But anyways, uh, some parachute cord, and we'll have the new knife cut the parachute cord. There we go, it cuts much easier. But anyways, it's a super handy knife and obviously uh, the thinness of the blade and the impact of me cutting the soaker hose caused my thumb to get a little cut on it. So that's something to watch out for, but uh, Overall, I've had a really good experience using this knife over the years. It's come in handy, but uh, for bigger tasks and high-impact tasks, you might want a full-size knife uh, with a thicker blade so you don't mess up your thumb. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you got some information from it. Uh, have a nice day.